Hello there, it's Anna here. Welcome to Little Crochet Farm. Today I will show you how to make this little jellyfish. It's a baby jellyfish from the collection of No Sewing Amigurumi Patterns. I don't know if you've seen the octopus. It was released here a couple of weeks ago. I used 100% cotton yarn to crochet this little jellyfish and 2mm crochet hook. All the information that you need to know is in the written pattern in the description below, right? And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. I will be happy to help you. All right, so for now, let's start crocheting this little jellyfish. Super good. We will start here with a magic ring or a magic circle. If you don't know how to make the magic ring, uh, check the link in the description below. There is a video dedicated only for the magic ring. But in here you can see it how it's done. It's just in case if this is too fast for you. Alright, now we will crochet inside the magic ring six single crochet. Okay. All the stitches and technique used to crochet this jellyfish, it's there is a dedicated video tutorial in the description of the video. All right, six stitches, pull it tight, close your circle, and now let's move on for the second round. Here you will work six increases, and you will have a total of 12 stitches at the end of this round. When I say increase, means that you will crochet two single crochet inside one stitch, okay? Here is my second increase, one single crochet, and two. Third increase here, and so on until the end of this round. Super good, fast forward here, all the repetitions. And now, if you know me already, you, like, you know that I like to double check the beginning of the yarn. And how I do this is I take a sewing needle. And I introduce the yarn inside the first, first round of the toy. Okay, this way I pull it tight and I make sure that the magic ring will not open and it will stay very nice and closed. Like this. Okay, so now I'll add here my stitch marker. I like to use just a different uh, color piece of yarn. And we'll move on for round number three. You will work one single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you will have 18 stitches at the end of this round. So here I will show you. This is my first stitch and the increase is here. So continue all the way around and I will catch you up at the end. Super good. Now we'll move on for round number four. You will work two single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have 24 stitches at the end of this round. All right, so this is my increase, and let me show you here. One, two single crochet, and the increase here. Repeat all the way until the end. And this is how it should be looking like once you finish round number four. Moving on for round number five, you will work three single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you will have 30 stitches at the end of this round. And this is the last round with increases, all right? I suggest you to count how many stitches you have at the end of each round, okay? So let's see it here. One, two, three, and increase it here. Repeat all the way until the end. Super good. So this is the size we want our jellyfish to be. So now we will crochet a couple of repetitions. So for round 6 to round 8, you will crochet 30 single crochet, okay? So no more increases or decreases. You work round 6, 7 and 8 with 30 single crochet on each. So you can stop your video here, work all of your repetitions, and I will catch you up here later. Super good. Now I'm here on my last stitch of round 8 and we will work a color change here, okay? You don't need to cut this thread from your main collar because we will work with it again. So I will just give a, give a simple knot here. You don't need to worry how it's looking like this knot. It will be facing inside of the toy. So just make a nice and tight knot here 
and let's work with our contrast color. Super good. Here, let me pause a little bit. I want to show you one thing. So here you have all the stitches, right? Front loop and the back loop. You can see it here, front and back. For this round, we will crochet only in the front loop of the stitch, this one, all right? For the next round, we will crochet on this back loop remaining, all right? So I will show you as we go. So for round number nine, you will work only in the front loop. And this is the repetition here that it's in, on the screen, so let's go slowly here. So you will skip the first stitch and you will start crocheting double single, <laughs> double crochet in the next stitch, all right? So on the front loop here, this is my first double crochet. And now the second, you will work four double crochet. So this is the second. Now working on my third double crochet and the last one. So yarn over inside the loop, pull one loop, yarn over inside the two loops on your needle, yarn over, pull it through the two loops. One, two, three, four. And you will crochet with a slip stitch on the stitch next to it. All right, so this is the repetition. We'll work uh, 10 times here. So let's do it one more time. Skip the first stitch. Start double crocheting here on the second stitch. So now we'll make four double crochet. So this is one and two, three and four. All right, and join with a slip stitch on the front loop of the next stitch, okay? Work all the way around and you will have these little curves here, okay? Super good. And I will catch you up at the last stitch because we will work a color change there. That's great. So this is how it should be looking like. And I'm here now on my last stitch, right? So how we finish here is making a slip stitch. But in this case, we will change back to our first color yarn. And we will continue working from here on, on the back loop, as I showed you in the beginning of this video, okay? So do you see this? We have a line here of the remaining back loop of the previous round. This one, it's a little bit disguised here. Just the first stitch is harder to see. You see, this is the one, and the rest is very easy for you to find. Just because the first one we skip, so it's a bit tough to find. All right, so for round number 10, you will work on the back loop, 30 single crochet. Fold this um, previous round, so it's easier because when you fold it, the stitches will pop outside and it will be easier for you to see. All right, now you work here your 30 back loop, single crochet, and I will catch you up at the end of this round so we can start closing here. Super good. This is very nice. You see here this um, round here on the back loop. Now we'll start working the creases, okay? So we will work here three single crochet, one decrease. For crochet toys, I use the invisible decrease. I will show you here how it's done, but also you can check in the description below. There is a video tutorial dedicated to it. But here you grab just the front loop of the stitch and you finish your decrease. Okay, it's very simple. Oh, all right. Now this is how it should be looking like. And moving on for round number 12, you will work two single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times and you should have 18 stitches at the end of this round. So here we have two single crochet and here my first decrease, only the front loop. And that's it, repeat all the way around and I'll catch you up here. Great, now moving on for round number 13. Here you will work one single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have 12 stitches at the end of this round. 
So this is my first decrease. Great. Work all the way around and I will catch you up to continue from here. Super good. So now we'll stop here for adding stuffing material. And here I will move a little bit fast. There is nothing new here. You just add as much stuffing material you like. I usually add a lot because I like them firm. Super good. And now let's cut this yarn and fastening off. So I will add this tail here in the sewing needle before continuing. And we will work a little bit different here from the other toys. Instead of working the front loop, we will work on the back loop. Okay, so to close this toy specifically, we will close on the back loop of the stitch. Alright, just the back loop here. And as normal you would, you grab all the 12 back loop of this toy and we will pull it tight once it's done. Okay, so here you see there is the front loop remaining here. And you pull it tight, you close this toy, I pull it too much. So you don't need to pull super much tight. I will just uh, fasten this uh, off or hide this remaining tail here. And we will continue working the tentacles here of our jellyfish. Super good. So this is very nice. Look at this, super cute. Now let's move on and work here on this part. You will work on the front loop that is remaining here if you haven't pulled it too tight as I did. So here I'll start working again with my my color, my contrast color and the color that we use to work for the jellyfish. <laughs> All right. So here what you're gonna do is I will just insert this thread here and I will tie it with pins because we will fasten this off at the end. All right. So for working here, here's what we're gonna do. All right, this is the pattern on the screen, so we'll go slow. You will chain 17 chains here, okay? So let's work 17 chains with this color yarn. Once you have all the chains, okay, you will skip the first one and you'll work 16 slip stitch. Okay, so here just work your slip stitch all the way down. Okay, so here there is no secret, just work your slip stitch. I will move fast forward until the last chain. Super good, we are here on the last chain. And here we will connect with the slip stitch on the stitch next to it but we will change to the contrast color, okay? Super good. I will change here for the other color and we will work again here. I will just secure this with pins. We will uh, fasten this later, all right? So just stay here for a little bit tight this and now let's work again the tentacles and on the same way so we will work 17 chains here that's great and then again you will skip the first one and you work 16 slip stitch going down so work all the way down 16 slip stitch All right, this is super good. Once you reach the end, you will again join with a slip stitch, okay? Changing the color. So you will go changing here, working with your color A and then color B. Color A, color B. You have 12 stitches here at the end, right? So you'll have six on each color. And you see this one popping out, popping a little bit outside. This is perfect because once you're working the tentacles, the next stitch, it's already going upwards because of the tension of the yarn. 
and this will help you to find exactly in which stitch you'll take. Super good. And then once you finish, this is how it should be looking like. You see, this is my last uh, work here, my last tentacle. And we'll cut this thread so we can fasten off. So this is the other color. So let me cut this also. Super good. I'll just pull this tail here. And I will show you how we will fasten off this in a very nice and secure way. Okay, so I will remove this pins here that was securing. And let's start with this color. Okay, so I will, I will insert in the sewing needle. I will bring inside the beginning of the stitch here and pull it to the head of this jellyfish somewhere in between any stitches or rounds, okay? Just pull it up, super good, and now you work the other collar, and this is up to you, you can take any thread here because this technique will work, you don't need to work in the same colors, I just will follow some pattern here, again I'm introducing the, in the sewing needle, I will bring it up again, to the head of this jellyfish. Super good. Now it's very nice and secure here to the top. And I will bring this tail outside here in the same stitch as I brought the first yarn, okay? I pull it too tight. Let me just organize this a little bit. Super good, yes. Now what's going to happen here is we will give a simple knot, okay, just to make sure this will be nice and tight and will not come off any, it's impossible to come off. Now we'll cut this thread and hide these knots inside a jellyfish, okay, so let me hide this, I will pull this inside and organize here, super good. And now I will repeat this same process with the other tails, okay? So I will do this off the camera, I'll bring it up here and do it a knot and hide it inside a jellyfish. Alright, super good, look at this, it's looking very nice and cute. Now we will start embroidering the eyes, okay? So here I use the pins to fake the eyes, where I want the eyes to be. If you are using uh, safety eyes, if you're using a plastic eye, there is in the written pattern in the description below the exact position where I embroider these eyes. So you can um, insert your eyes while you're crocheting here. I like to embroider the eyes, so I will just show you how it's done. You leave the thread a little bit up, as I did here, because we'll also double secure this. I'm showing you in very detail how I'll secure my threads to make sure that the toy will not unravel. Because I received a couple of questions of you from you asking me how I make sure that it will not it will remain everything on its place. Here for for embroidering the eyes, as you see, I just start making a bunch of straight lines, straight lines on the size of one stitch, and as many uh, straight lines you make, you have one round eye, like magic. <laughs> okay, I will embroider this second one here and then I will come back. Super good, look at this, it's very nice. Now you see it again, I will show you here how to double secure this beginning of the thread. Okay, just to make sure that everything gets nice here and cut this yarn and now we will hide this inside the jellyfish. Super good. Let me hide this better. Okay, go inside, go inside. Okay, super good. Okay, this is looking nice but we need some life in these eyes, right? So I took a little bit of white color yarn and I will embroider once again, leave this tail outside so we'll secure this when we are fastening off and I will make just a little line here on the side of the eyes of my jellyfish, okay? 
very simple like this so I'll make it just one here and I will bring this tail to the other side so I'll just go slow make sure that it's looking nice and I'll make to the other side as well and I will bring this tail to the same stitch to the outside and fasten this off and our jellyfish is ready look at this super cute I hope you enjoyed this pattern I also made another one in blue and leave me a thumbs up and I see you in the next time bye